other day when it was it, it was snowing over here, I actually thought of like the static friction coefficient. It's like elementary school stuff. I put it pretty low. It's like year F. I finished the AP exam like 40 minutes early. Hello and welcome to the ultimate AP class tier list. My name is Rishabh and as a graduating senior, I've taken over 15 AP classes now and I've had my fair share of what goes on behind the scenes. My name is Ben Chen. I'm also a senior at Westview and I've taken 12 AP classes. In today's video, I will be joining Bishop Jane, and together we are going to be creating the ultimate AP class tier list. Let's start out with the most common AP class, AP English Language and Composition. Ben, what are your thoughts on this class? For me, this class was a lot of writing, a lot of reading. The content is really similar to what you see on the SAT. Yeah, I also had a pretty good experience. My teacher mainly made us like watch videos and documentaries, read some articles, but not too much prep for the AP exam itself. What do you think a rating should be? I'd honestly put it at an A tier, to be honest. I think I'd put it at a B tier personally because I liked AP Lit a little bit more, which we'll get into in a second. We can put it at B tier because I haven't taken it today. Well, we can rearrange it at the end too. Yeah. So let's go to AP US History. A push for us, we had it online during COVID. So for me, the experience wasn't as good, but I found like a lot of the actual content itself pretty interesting because I like history. Huh, yeah. Personally, I don't like history as much. And so I think my rating is going to be significantly lower than yours, oh. Ben. It's just like a lot of tedious work, like, you know, reading the yeah, notes, right. making the notes, and then doing DBQ, LEQ, FRQ, SAQ. SAQ. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I personally put it at like a C tier. What do you think? I can agree with that. All right, A push C tier. Uh, next up now is AP Lit, AP English Lit and Comp. So you I haven't taken, haven't this, taken class. this class. Yeah. So I'll give my personal experience. I actually enjoyed AP Lit more than AP Lang because of that reading aspect and getting to read some poetry as well was pretty interesting. I personally enjoyed it more than AP Lang. I didn't take the AP exam for this course because I got a five on AP Lang already. And so I would probably put it at like a B plus, but for the sake of differentiating here, I'll put it at an A tier. Next we have AP World History Modern. I'm the only one who's taken this class, so I'll give my thoughts. I actually found the content in this class a lot more interesting than A push because it covers, as, it, as the name says, it covers the world. And so there, were, there was a lot of things and like just a bunch of random like tidbits of information that I found really cool. So I would put that above AP US History and I'd put it in B tier. B tier. Next up we have AP Psychology. Have you seen AP Psych? I did not think this was. Okay, so I took AP Psych freshman year and it was, yeah, it was my first AP class. But that being said, this has been my favorite AP class. I learned the most info from AP Psych that I can actually apply in my everyday life. And even on this YouTube channel about things like productivity, studying, and like the science-backed evidence for that, a lot of that knowledge is derived from stuff that I learned and read about in AP Psych. And so I'd personally highly, highly recommend this class. It was also so much fun. There's like simulations and there's like thought experiments and social experiments that we got to watch in class. For me, this was an S tier. Next up on the list is AP US Government and Politics. Both of us are actually taking this class right now. We've gone through the first semester and I feel like we have like a pretty good teacher. So yeah, um, he definitely makes the class a lot better than it might be. The content is, you know, it's just learning about the three branches. So I wouldn't say it's like anything super special, but because of our teacher, I'd at least put it at a B tier. Yeah, I, I think our class specifically, I've enjoyed it a lot. Like we had a presidential election with like debates and campaign speeches. We had like a judicial branch debate as well. There's a lot of fun opportunities in this class. I personally put it at an A tier, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Just because of our teacher specifically. Yeah, I can, I can, I can. AP Calculus AB. So for this class, we also had it online during COVID and for me personally, I could not pay attention at all. Yeah, I think I might speak a little bit about the content itself. I'd say that it's a little bit more applicable than BC because in BC we learned about like the series, series and sequences, which I don't think is like super helpful for an everyday life person who's like not going into applied math or like computer science or engineering or something. Yeah. So I'm not sure how helpful BC was, but AB there's like some useful stuff, like even as a prereq for physics C, right? You kind of have to know the AB stuff. Yeah. But overall, my experience in the class itself, I'm more of like a sciences type of guy, so I didn't like it as much. I'd probably put it at like a C. C. Mm. 
lower than that. I kind of want to keep it at D. Okay, we'll keep it at D for now. Next is Calc BC. So BC, the content, a lot of it is actually recycled from AB. Yeah. But there's like a couple more topics like series and sequences. And because I had this one online and the teacher was like, not terrible, I guess. I put it higher than AB and I got a five on the exams for the both the AB subscore and BC. I put it in AB. I personally did not have a great experience in Calc BC. I thought that the concepts themselves were more interesting in BC because it, it does get into like some more complex topics, but I'm not sure, sure how useful this class is. And also like, yeah, I just didn't find it super fun. So I'd have to disagree on that and put it like closer to a C, even a C minus. I feel like as long as as long as it's above AB, I'm not. <laughs> so we'll put it in C tier. So next up we have AP Statistics. This is our final math class that we're talking about here. And we're both taking AP Stats right now. The information and like the concepts themselves are not too hard to learn. I think most of the time we're able to grasp them pretty much immediately when our teacher is lecturing about it or if we're watching like an AP Daily video about it. But the class itself I found kind of boring. There was only one project that we've done so far and it was like a polling project that, I mean, yeah, you just yeah. sent the poll to other kind people of. and then made a pie chart. For stats, the only reason I don't really like it is because there's so much memorization. You have to memorize a ton of formulas and all that. And so while I do find like statistics actually interesting, I think that the way it's taught maybe through the AP curriculum could be more engaging or just better overall. Yeah, I think it's pretty hard to rate. Honestly, I'd rate it lower than Calc AB if we like try to not be biased about the teachers we had. That's true, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, we can put it at E tier. E tier, okay. That's the first one in E. Next up is AP Biology. I took AP Biology last year. For me, I actually really love biology. I applied as a bio major for most of my schools and the content was interesting to me because I'm a, a bit of a nerd for that. And so for me, I'd have to put that maybe as an A tier. Yeah, I totally agree. I probably, just to put it out there, I'd probably put AP Bio as an S tier class, okay. but I could agree with A tier. I'm also kind of a bio nerd. I did Science Bowl and studied biology through that and also did science research in the field of biology. And now I also applied for like a bio-based major, which is neuroscience. You can probably get some of that idea that I took AP Psych and AP Bio and want to put both of them in the S tier and now I'm yeah. applying as a neuroscience major. But I could agree with an A tier. No, no, I think you should. I think S tier is fine. Oh, S tier. Okay. All right, Chem. The chemistry. So both of, both Richard and I are in chemistry this year. Uh, chemistry is very tedious, I'd say. Um, yeah. It's like... <laughs> It's just, it's not that fun, dude. So there's there's a lot of labs in this class because pretty much per unit, we have to do a lab. And I'm not sure if you even get the lab credit. Most of the schools that I applied to, I think all of them don't accept yeah. like the lab credit from that. So I'm gonna have to take Gen Chem. And yeah, some topics are like really easy. And then other ones are like completely difficult and they just throw you in that realm. Watch out for unit eight. Yeah. This one is probably D tier. D tier, I could agree with that. Okay, we have like a pretty normal distribution so far. The next is AP Physics C Mechanics. I'm yeah. actually in physics right now, but for us, our school, we, we do it a little differently. We teach mechanics one semester and then immediately do electric, electricity and magnetism the next. Whereas for most schools, they'll teach these courses, they'll teach these AP classes as year long courses. So for us, it's like very, very rushed. But I think that the content is actually pretty cool. Like. You learn about how the world works like scientifically so just for that i'd probably put it at least a c yeah i agree i think like the labs and stuff are pretty practical even like a b minus but i could get behind a c and then maybe we can see based off of e and m physics c e and m you're taking that right now yeah right? so i'm basically just starting to get into this one because it's our second semester uh -huh. so i won't speak too much on it but i do know that for e and you have to pay a lot of attention because the concrete builds on top of each other. Yeah, I, I think e and even builds on mechanics, like you know this where you have to sum all the forces in the X and Y. Yeah, yeah. And so you basically have to do that for e and as well. But I personally actually enjoyed the labs in e and a lot. I think our teacher is also pretty passionate about 
Yeah. Ian was a really smart guy. And so the way Ian M was like presented in class was pretty engaging. And there was also some interesting labs like the circuit lab. That was probably my favorite lab I've done in like all of high school. So I'd probably put it higher than mechanics for that reason. But at the same time, Ian M is not like applicable unless you're going into like yeah. electrical engineering or like physics or something. God probably just kicking together yeah i agree i think like one of the it outweighs on one of the things but the relevance to yeah. the everyday life is not there so next up we have the two economics courses ap macro and ap micro so have you taken these i did not take this okay so i'll be talking about both of them our school offered both of these classes in one class called ap econ the first semester was AP Micro and the second semester was Macro. So similar to what we have for Physics C, I think some schools will like only offer one of them, like they'll only offer Macro for one semester. And so ours was a little bit different in that way. I think overall Econ was like a pretty easy conceptually, like the, the graphs and everything. There are methods that the AP classroom and our teacher uses to teach both of these classes that make a lot of sense and allow you to solve problems that they give you pretty easily and pretty straightforward as long as you kind of understand it conceptually. But it is pretty tedious because at the end of the day, you're literally just shifting a line on a curve again and again and again. But there are some interesting problems like the thing with the prisoner's dilemma that we learned about. I think I probably put both of them in like C tier. We're here on our last two classes, AP Environmental Science and AP Comp Sci Principles. And I'm gonna move them both to the C tier so that we can clearly see that there are no classes in the F tier right now. So let's start with apes. So apes is boring, I'd say. There's, it's just common sense knowledge, really. Like you learn how, you learn about precipitation and like earthquakes and stuff. Like it's not, the, it's like elementary school stuff. I put it pretty low, it's like year F. Okay. Yeah, I think apes, like a lot of the stuff was pretty easy. I finished the AP exam like 40 minutes early. And so like the FRQs are literally just like you write one sentence. And so yeah, the AP exam, the content itself was pretty easy. Some of the stuff like like the different soil types and stuff, I found that a little bit interesting. But then there were other topics like the five different aspects of the environment. And that just seemed like like kind of common sense and also like do you really need to learn that in a class so yeah i'd also rate it pretty low like by d or e I mean, we both said e, so okay so we'll put an e tier the last class we have is ap computer science principles oh, oh no ap csp is pretty interesting ben how much cs experience do you have i actually don't have much experience this was kind of like my gateway into it but i'd say that it was a pretty bad gateway <laughs> okay so I have a fair bit of CS experience. And so I can pretty confidently say I learned nothing from this class, like pretty much the entire year. If you have a decent amount of CS experience, you're really not gonna learn anything new in this class. And I probably should have known that when I signed up for the course, knowing that it is a principles class. But at the same time, I feel like when I was learning these principles in like fourth grade, the, the methods I was learning it through like Khan Academy and Code Academy and like just reading some like books or watching YouTube videos, that type of thing was way more effective than like code.org or the the AP, like, you know, the Google Docs where they had that banner at the top that's like blue, like the oh, AP yeah, classroom. Things, yeah. yeah, like those assignments those we had nice. to do. I feel like those are literally just created for the purpose of assigning like a 4321 yeah. grade to your assignment rather than like actually teaching you something. Also, one, one thing is I'm pretty sure that this will not even give you like computer science credit for college. You'd be much better off just taking computer science A. Yeah, so I feel like if your class offers computer science A, take that. And so I think this class has to go in the F tier. Yeah, this is our first F tier. So Ben, do we want to change anything about our break? Right now, I don't think there's anything we really need to change. Just we've got a nice little bell curve going. Yeah, and Physics C and Econ are both technically one class for us at least. Yeah. And sure. so that just becomes two, 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 four, two, two, one. So College Board has done a good job of normalizing these classes. I don't know if that's the way to interpret, but sure. Do you agree with our rating of these classes? Let us know in the comment section down below. We put AP Psych and AP Bio in the S tier, and I know that's gonna be a pretty controversial decision for many. Yeah. But also, there's a ton of other classes, a lot of these language AP classes. If you've taken them, also let us know in the comments. A lot of them aren't offered at our school, and so we'd love to hear what you think of these classes.
If you want to help out with the algorithm for this video, consider subscribing below. Not only will you get notified for cool videos we make in the future, but at the same time you support this video and the channel a ton. Finally, let me know if you want to see Ben Chen in future videos by leaving a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.